Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the shifter actuator in a Maytag washer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a 5 16 inch nut driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new shifter actuator. The shifter actuator is located under the washer near the gearbox pulley. It's responsible for shifting the gearbox from agitation to spin and back. It has an optic sensor that tells the control board what position the gearbox is in. The main symptoms of a failed shifter actuator are if the washer will try to spin or agitate, or both making noises like trying to shift the gears. In a situation like that, you would need to check and replace the shifter actuator. All right, folks, now we are at the washer and we are ready to put it on its back. But make sure that you disconnect the water inlet hoses, pull out the uh, drain hose from the drain, and be prepared to collect some water coming out of the drain hose. So now, when we set that, we can put the washer on its back. All right, I'm going to uh, support the washer with this uh, box as low as possible. Make sure it's not going anywhere. To get to the part, we need to remove this cover. It's held in place uh, by two 516 screws, one on the bottom, one on the top. And I'm going to use the 516 inch nut driver to take them out. All right, so I'm going to start with the uh, bottom screw. And now uh, the top one. And now we're going to remove this uh, shield cover. Okay, this is the uh, shifter actuator that we're going to replace. It's held in place uh, by two Phillips screws. Uh, they are painted green, so we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take them out. And now we need to disengage this actuator arm and uh, the last thing is to uh, disconnect the plug. I'm going to press down on the locking tab and pull it out. This is the old shifter actuator next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So we've got here a uh, new shift reactuator and I'm gonna plug this first make sure it locks and I'm gonna turn it and we're gonna install this arm into this uh, loop here and we're going to install this uh, actuator into the holes in a gearbox and now I'm going to secure it with the screws. We've got a couple of Phillips screws and I'm going to tighten it using a Phillips screwdriver. And now I'm going to tighten both of them. All right, and next we're going to install the uh, shield cover. I'm going to match the holes on the top and, the, and at the bottom. And now I'm going to secure it with a couple of uh, 5 16 screws using a nut driver. Now ready to place the washer upright. Be careful, it's still heavy. And we're going to remove the box.
And now make sure that you connect the water inlet hoses and you properly install the drain hose. Turn on the water, plug the washer in and run it to check if it works properly and there's no leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.